people. Did y'all throw a ball in the air yesterday? I had trouble. I actually made three videos and couldn't get any of them to process on my own system. Let's hope this one does. Uh, we'll take a look at the stars later in a video if I can get this one to work. Money. Mid-13th century. So we're talking about 700 years ago. Coinage. Metal currency from the old French. Modern French. Monet from Mon Moneda. Uh, place for coining money. Mint. Coined money. Coinage. Blah, blah, blah. Title or surname of the Roman goddess Juno. Okay. Not Saturn. Juno. Pluto means, this is in defense of Saturn, by the way, because Saturn is time, and it's time they blocked. That's why they tell you time is money, because that's what they're banking on. Okay, Pluto, another Roman god, god of the underworld from Latin, Pluto, Pluton from the Greek, Pluton, god of wealth. Literally, wealth, riches, probably originally overflowing Okay. And then you see that UV there, that's from an old language. That would actually be a W or a W. The alternative Greek name for Hades. Okay. This has Saturn's been victimized too long. Now Saturn is about boundaries and restrictions and Saturn can be a wall for a lot of people, especially if you can't get past the fact that so much hoopla has been thrown down about Saturn. That you just don't get it. Another Roman god. Saturn. Uh, most remote planet then known from the Latin Saturnus. Originally a name of Antalic god of agriculture. Possibly from the Etruscans. Now, I get that, because I've done been through the Etruscan language. It is at war on this planet with the Phoenician language. Derivation from Latin, sere, sedis, to sow, folk et etymology. Now, this is where the confusion comes in. Identified with Greek Cronus, father of Zeus, also an alchemical name for lead. In Akkadian, the planet was Kai Amanu, literally constant enduring, with the Hebrew Kiyon, Arabic from the Persian Kaiwan, Saturn, Saturnian. Now, Saturnalia was a time of mer merrymaking. It was an actual ritual that was done. Uh, Greek Kronos, it, and I don't even, let's, let's back up here, because it's, from the folk etymology, which I prefer, people's real tongues instead of the ones that were forced on them, an ancient Italic deity, probably to be have appeared in Italy in the reigns of Janus, to have instructed the people in agriculture, gardening, um, elevating them from barbarian to social order and civilization. His reign was sung by the poets as the Golden Age. Because everybody was growing their own food, and there was plenty, and you, you, you are grateful, right? This has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with time, the golden age, and they want you to be afraid of it. And of course, Saturn rules January because it was done in the reign of Janus, which is the two-faced god. He sees into the past, and he sees into the future get that so far that we're, we're we're on the same page here that we're having a slick one pulled on us again and you can see you can go through all this yourself take a good look uh, Rhea South American ostrich there's that ostrich feather again that you associate with the sign of Sagittarius Modern Latin genus name for unknown reasons from Greek Rhea. They, they know why. 
It's a name of a Titaness, mother of Zeus, a name of unknown origin as a moon of Saturn discovered in 1692. And they're all here. You can go through them all for yourself and get a bit more understanding about the names of the planets, where the names come from, and what they actually mean. Now, about our tongue flip. Pause this for just a second. Okay, about our languages. Uh, the Cathars. Uh, they come from a place in France called Languedoc. That speaks to me because it tells me their language was fixed. And I don't mean in a bad way. I meant they had a natural tongue. We have a they made time as money. We have to pay for everything. We are slaves who are paying for our own slavery. And that's not enough. They want to take that from us. They want to strip us beyond slavery and beyond poverty to literally out of existence. I don't know who they'll feed on once they try to get rid of all of us. But nonetheless, uh, their time's coming up soon because when the real wealth, which is it's the other part of UU -U, which makes the magic W in Egyptian then when it comes together with Saturn which is time and Jupiter which is space and those three meet and you stand up and look at those stars they know we're going to have 20, 20 double vision we'll have the Janus effect we'll be able to look into the past Realize where we really are right now, and then can see our tomorrow. And uh, they're doing everything they can to pull out all the stops. I have, everything's upside down and backwards, so it's hard for me to explain to you. So I try to jump you around. We're going to go here, we're going to go there. Okay, let's go one more place. Okay, here we are today. And I want to show you that the sun is still in Cancer. Let's get some time up here. that it is today. 8 4 2016. The sun is in Cancer. Venus, the moon, and Mercury are in Leo. Jupiter is coming into Virgo. And Mars and Saturn are both still in Scorpio. So when you go around watching these astronomers with their charts, which is fine because you can still get how one planet aspects another but the sign that's behind it is not correct and I'm going to show you where I'm coming from here pull this down down here at the bottom I'm coming from the Yuba City Astronomical Observatory I'm not using a 2,000 year old locked box I'm not using a chart that was invented a thousand years ago or this is today right here right now and you can go up at night and look outside at what constellations the stars are rising in for yourself now Orion is important because it is the most recognizable uh, in the sky right it's the most recognizable sign for us to see uh, we see it in the winter months predominantly when we're opposite from it because you can't see it during the day but this one here it's known around the world we've been through this and been through this and how they use this for magic and unfortunately they're not only are they fixing to bring Ophucus down on us they're fixing to turn all the constellations to face the other way I've already got the evidence to prove it I just haven't made the video yet but uh, yeah, Orion's going to be facing the other way to where he's literally attacking the twins or the unicorn here. And it's just crazy what they're doing. They're, they lock the box, they flip the box, they turn the box upside down, they square the circle, they, they're trying to do everything they can. But 
I know something else. Okay, this entire video is in defense of Saturn. Because uh, here's Chichen Itza again, which the real name is Kubla Khan. And I, uh, you can see the box on top of the pyramid. And then there's this guy over here. And he's got his knees up and he's showing you his shins. This is telling me Aquarius. This gets better. Let's see if they're going to let me have this picture here. Or am I going to have to drag one up out of my file? Here he is again. Here's another look at Chichen Itza, something you're not shown very much. It's the Ouroboros, it's the snake eating its tail. So this whole thing right here is set up as an astronomical observatory. They count Saturn because it was at the time the most outer known planet. And they watch for the snake to eat its tail. And that's coming up. We're in the process of it now. It takes the sun 72 years to move one degree in the sky. Just one. You might live a fraction of 1.1 degree in your lifetime. Right? If you're lucky, you get to live that old. But you're just simply one degree. You're not separated from anything. And they don't show you this big ass snake eating its tail. And they don't show you the sign of the water bearer. And that's why all of this is being hid from you. Because when you know the magic trick, it don't work anymore. They've tricked our languages. They've shielded our zodiacs. They took time and put it in a box. There's nothing they haven't done to try to remain in power. But what's coming, this wealth, this riches, it's the wealth of knowledge is so much more than gold. The wealth of knowing is priceless. It's without a price. And we're going to get to experience that come 2020. And that's what this entire temple is telling us. This Chichen Itza, they call it. Which is funny because if you look it up, Chichen Itza, and it'll tell you that it it's a reversed word in English from Spanish. They even admit it's reversed. But its real name is Kubla Khan. From the natural tongue. They've changed everything. But they should have got rid of the head of the snake. And they should have never let me see the shin sitting there. Because there's only one fella in the Zodiac that can fit that slot. And gonna throw his shins up there for you to see when you walk through the door. And that's, they built this whole thing waiting on 2020 alignment to when we're fully in the sign of Aquarius. And Saturn will mark the rule of the Golden Age because Saturn rules Capricorn. And that's just a fact. And then, what does it say in the Bible? Time will be no more. That don't mean Saturn's going to be gone. It means this fake time that man's been in. Now, Saturn's the god of agriculture. We're going back to natural time. Everybody's already feeling it. It's what the, the Cathar movement is all about. It's going back to the natural languages, to the natural tongue, to the natural way of living. Not this construct that we've been given that all of us seem to re be referring to as our prison.